Roman Empire and Poland Lithuania are back from the dead. It's actually a great time to get Poland since Poland was one of the first country balls I ever did, so I know a lot of people missed out on that. With the added bonus of getting Lithuania as well. Their contribution here is not talked about enough. Then there's the Border Gore God himself. I'm actually just a little bit disgusted having this thing anywhere close to me. You know the drill, head over to makeship.com using the first link in the description down below and get these before they inevitably disappear just like they did in real life forever. Well, I don't know if I can say forever. I guess it's a possibility these empires come back one day. Oh, God. I'm more worried about the Holy Roman Empire than Poland, Lithuania. That'd be cool. Commonwealth? No. Commonwealth? No. Commonwealth? No. Personal union? No. Economic partnership? Uh-uh. Friendship bracelet? And nah. Political ally? No, 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 no. Russia? This is what happens to you stink freak waste of a clay that calls self Lithuania, you scorch of earth literal only reason you exist for the commonwealth yet fuck <laughs> I guess I should think about joining that commonwealth. Funny how often that happened in history. No matter how many different types of proposals were said, it often just came down to the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Which, speaking of which, we gotta talk about the Holy Roman Empire now. Hey there, old son. Would you mind helping out old pup pup? No can do. Very important council and poop to make. I see. You're a very busy man now. I'm sorry, but your old pup pup is in dear need of help. Tisk, new basket lick at a build in Constantinople. Sorry. Oh, not to worry. <laughs> My boy, uh, your pup pup is having a little bit of trouble again. Sorry, can the not have meeting with Persian council discussion. I see. I so proud of you, my son. So proud. So proud of you. <laughs> what the? I swear, sometimes the voices that come out of my mouth, I'm just shocked by them. Oh look, it's my imperial eagle. Better get before pop pop makes hurt with it. Pop pop, you have seen my. Mom? Mom? Where is- Uh... I'm bit daddy now. Um, I can explain. Oh, the papal state is sure gonna have a lot of that to do. Then again, Byzantium, this is kind of all on you. Basically, this is the origin story of how the Holy Roman Empire came to be. Remember, the original Roman Empire split to being Western and Eastern. The Eastern side, otherwise known as Byzantium, would survive a lot longer than their Western brothers, though. Well, that is, in a way, since they kind of were, well, I don't want to say revived as the Holy Roman Empire. I mean, they want us to believe that. Although, this man would definitely disagree. But I have seen a lot of blame put on the Eastern Romans or Byzantium for not helping out Western Rome and kind of causing whatever monstrosity this was to follow. It's just kind of funny how the original Roman Empire was defeated by the very same people that came from the Holy Roman Empire's lands. The very same German barbarians here. Which is kind of funny since they're speaking German here in the last slide. Poland strong. Poland into relevancy. Poland also king of Lithuania. Sweden does not look very amused. So very relevant. Many of knights. King of everything. Poland. King of Sweden? Oh no, you have not. Now I'd say Poland of the Wind, you definitely started off as a pretty big force there in Eastern Europe, but by this time they were struggling. Soon literally all their neighbors were going to start chomping away. However, there was a very short-lived personal union with Poland, Lithuania, and Sweden included. This only lasted for like seven years though, but a hundred years later, Sweden would hand Poland, Lithuania a pretty massive L, which one could argue kind of began their downfall. Especially since Sweden overall lost that conflict, giving way for Russia to be the dominant power in the region. It's my time to drive. Hi, I'm in charge. You is terrible driver. Before police. Give it up, Do you think he's okay? I have no idea, responds France. Oh boy, and here they go. <laughs> Dad has released the spirit of the right. Blimey, Tucker Blue. I will be seeing you soon. Very soon. Basically, one of the big consequences of the fall of the Holy Roman Empire. So first, we're discussing the weird way the HRE actually functioned from the inside. This is supposed to represent their weird election system where they elected different members to govern at different points. It was just a really messy system that they had going on there. Then France, of course, decided to eventually end that in the 19th century. As with many things, of course, it was Napoleon's doing. The problem is when they did that, it definitely led to some unforeseen consequences. It eventually gave way to the movement to start an independent Germany, and we all know what happened after that. It's funny because relatively speaking, as soon as they showed up, they immediately just started going to war with the entire world. Like, it's only like 40 years later, they're like, okay, we're gonna fight everyone now. It's definitely an interesting thought to think, what if France never did this? What if they never ended the Holy Roman Empire? We could have avoided all them world wars, but who knows? Is Poland 
and ready to be spook by my spook house? Uh, how will I be spook? Is many pictures from Poland's scary past? Poland have been through many things. Can't be spook anymore. Is this one a scare? Uh, Russia do many trick to me using old clothes. How about this one? No, Germany not like that anymore. How about this? Danzig was really annoyance, more than a scary. Not no Lithuania. It seem as though you can't scare Poland. Don't worry, is have last trick up sleeve. <gasps> you win, Litwa. This part of my history was very scary. Oh, that's, uh, th uh, Okay, that's literally just you, Poland. If anyone's gonna know Poland's greatest fears, it definitely would be Lithuania. Lithuania has been kind of in the same body as Poland, which is a freaky way to talk about it. Poland's worst fear being Poland itself definitely makes a lot of sense. I mean, at this point, the memes have just hammered home, haha, no no Germany and the Soviets. Like, just the overall exposure to those things, it becomes probably less freaky for them. I say Poland and Lithuania just get back together again. Hey, it's 1000 AD. Behold, it's me, Poland. I just came into existence. Wonder how adventurers will wait for such young, new, impressionable, experienced little country like me. Hello, neighbor. Welcome our new addition to our Christendom. Wow, you're so mature and experienced and influential. Worry that Polska be too greenhorn fledgling for such adult empire like you. That's nonsense. I can clearly see that you are mature for your age. You will be able to commit for adult decisions like, uh, politicizes, marriages, blend of the diplomat. What's that? But those are for adult clays, not and am I too young? Who said that? Surely Moravania and Kurvuresa pays him no mind. They are jealous that you're so intelligent while so young. <laughs> Think for yourself. Oh, your empire only you see mine as mature country. So happy to meet you. Now let's go to my house. I have special needs that only responsible... Responsible? Me? Of course, I won't let you down. I worry not, Poland. I will introduce you to... Yay! I feel extremely uncomfortable. Um... What? The Holy Roman Empire is actually a Discord mod? I guess we're talking about this Congress that was held in the year 1000. Basically, in another life, Poland could have very easily been Eastern Orthodox instead. But, uh, yeah, the Holy Roman Empire got to him first. Well, okay then. Meanwhile, in Austria, 1815. Now that Frank Wright had destroyed our beloved empire, we need you to make decisions on what to do about current situations. This is definitely the 19th century after the French took a pretty big L. I don't know, says Russia. Kim Clay. I think it would be best solution to... To try to maybe bring it back to life. What you think, Prussia? Don't even think that you'll get a sphere of influences from this, you filthy black. I'm guessing that it's worth trying. Don't have many other options. Um, just try to remember the correct borders. Here we have France, and here's the outline of what would soon become Germany, and then there's the Austria-Hungary, Austrian Empire a while later. So I've gathered everyone. Did you find the good old Reich? Yep, here he is. Good as new. He actually doesn't look that good. Get us in the engage of the revival process. We will need to put our names together on here. Sign Prussia. And there's Osterite. Who beareth awaken me from my eternal slumber. Boo! <laughs> Please, and my misery. That's actually a very bad idea. So I think we're talking about the unification of Germany here. After the fall of the Holy Roman Empire, they, they kind of tried to revive that whole thing. This first part was actually when they finally defeated Napoleon for the last time. As we just talked about, remember Napoleon was the one that kind of ended the Holy Roman Empire. So actually what they were establishing is known as the German Confederation, which as you can see did not necessarily share the same borders as the former Holy Roman Empire. And they tried their best, but it feels like they were just scribbling all over the place. Again, that did not last for that long, but a little side mission there for him. I like how they kept with the Holy Roman Empire theme of just being horribly cursed. They got that down pretty nicely, I guess. Konnichiwa! I'm Japan and this is Taiwan. I is no using for names when all you look same anyways. Holy crap, Lithuania, chill. What you see? As expecting no less from stupid fat America. Yeah, idiot America. But I'm not America. Sorry, I mean Germany. Or France, Italy, Britain, Yugoslavia. Any ideas, Taiwan? Myanmar with no star. I'm Lithuania. Oh yeah, we meant Lithuania. Yes. What's Lithuania? I have no idea. <laughs> two balls on two completely different continents, not knowing who each other are. Not surprised. It happens. How depressing. Everyone's always forgetting Lithuania, just like they're often forgot about when talking about the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Again, don't forget to head over to makeship.com by using that first link in the description down below. Whether it's Napoleon taking out the Holy Roman Empire or 
pretty much all of Poland, Lithuania's neighbors taking out them. These country ball plushies are doomed to be banished to the Shadow Realm at some point. So get them before that happens. And big thanks to my patrons this month. Drew, je suis ton père de retour avec le lait regard de Douchebag. Amateur oh, archaeology. Norwalk. Carmel Connor S. Connor Pavlik. Cameron. Cameron. Edward. Edward. Frederick Henry Headlock. Inquisitor. Debeerious. Megan Underwood. Young Kansas. Frank. Kirin. Wasn't Ben. Girl. Sammy. If you the Mexicans, 760. 